Hello, my loves. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Jen, and this is our beautiful baby Ella. Say hi. Hi. It's been a while since we gave you Australian citizenship test. So today we would like to give you another set of Australian citizenship test to help you pass your Australian citizenship test 100%. Ready? Let's start. Question number one. What heritage has the major influence of Australia's recent history, culture, and politics? Letter A, Asian heritage. Letter B, Chinese heritage. Letter C, British and Irish heritage. The answer is letter C, British and Irish heritage. Number two. When did the first fleet from Great Britain arrive in Australia? Letter A, 26 January 1788. Letter B, 26 April 1788. Letter C, 26 November 1788. The answer is letter A, 26 January 1788. Number 3. Who are the early free settlers in Australia? Letter A, Indian. Letter B, Chinese. Letter C, British and Irish. The answer is letter C, British and Irish. Number four. When was gold discovered in New South Wales and Victoria? Letter A, 1951. Letter B, 1751. Letter C, 1851. The answer is letter C, 1851. Number five. What was the population of Australia in 10 years? Letter A, more than doubled. Letter B, 4 million. Letter C, decreased. The answer is letter A, more than doubled. Number 6. What is the capital city of Western Australia? Letter A, Sydney. Letter B, Fremantle. Letter C, Perth. The answer is letter C, Perth. Number 7. What is the capital city of Northern Territory? Letter A, Darwin. Letter B, Canberra. Letter C, Hobart. The answer is letter A, Darwin. Number 8. What is the capital city of South Australia? Letter A, Adelaide. Letter B, Port Lincoln. Letter C, Victor Harbour. The answer is letter A, Adelaide. Number 9. What is the first colony established by the British? Letter A, New South Wales. Letter B, Victoria. Letter C, Queensland. The answer is letter A, New South Wales. Number 10. Where can we find the rugged coastline and many famous wine regions in Australia? Letter A, Cradle Mountain. Letter B, Port Arthur. Letter C, South Australia. The answer is letter C, South Australia. Number 11. What is a solemn day in Australia when we remember the sacrifice of all Australians who served and died in wars, conflicts, and peacekeeping operations? Letter A, Australia Day. Letter B, Labor Day. Letter C, Anzac Day. The answer is letter C, Anzac Day. Number 12. What are the colors of Torres Strait Islander flag? Letter A. Blue, white, red, and yellow. Letter B. Black, yellow, red, and white. Letter C. Green, blue, black, and white. The answer is letter C. Green, blue, black, and white. Number 13. The seven points of the Commonwealth star found in Australian national flag represent Letter A. Six states and one point for the territories. Letter B. Five states and two points for the territories. Letter C, none of these. The answer is letter A. Six states and one point for the territories. Number 14. The white hunter's headdress in the center of Torres Strait Islander flag symbolizes what? Letter A. All Torres Strait Islanders. 
Letter B. All Australian citizens. Letter C. All British people. The answer is letter A. All Torres Strait Islanders. Number 15. What is the official symbol of the Commonwealth of Australia? Letter A. The Commonwealth Coat of Arms. Letter B. The Commonwealth Star. Letter C. The Union Jack. The answer is letter A. The Commonwealth Coat of Arms. Number 16. What kind of freedom when people can express their views, including through art, film, music, and literature? Letter A, freedom of expression. Letter B, freedom of association. Letter C, none of these. The answer is letter A, freedom of expression. Number 17. Below are the responsibilities of Australian citizens except Letter A. Vote in federal and state or territorial elections and in a referendum. Letter B. Obey the laws of Australia. Letter C. Seek election to parliament. The answer is letter C. Seek election to parliament. Number 18. What is an important responsibility, right and privilege for all Australian citizens aged 18 years or over? Letter A. Voting in federal and state or territorial elections and in referendum. Letter B. Getting a driver's license. Letter C. Applying for an Australian passport. The answer is letter A. Voting in federal and state or territorial elections and in referendum. Number 19. Who has the special powers, known as reserve powers, that can only be used in specific circumstances? Letter A, the Governor General. Letter B, the Prime Minister. Letter C, the Premier. The answer is letter A, the Governor General. Number 20. Who has the highest authority in a court? Letter A, Judge or Magistrate. Letter B, Prime Minister. Letter C, Governor General. The answer is letter A, Judge or Magistrate. Good luck on your Australian citizenship test. If you need to practice more Australian citizenship tests, please have a look on our playlist. We have plenty of Australian citizenship practice tests for you. And we also have Australian citizenship interview if you need it. Thank you so much for always watching on our channel. You take care and sending all our love to you. We'll see you on our next video. Bye. We love you every second. Ich mach mir